junkyard or farm. Take a drive out to the North Shore and you can't miss it. And as you're heading to Wailua, it's a triangle of land off Kaukonahua Road across from Poamoho Estates. KTV4's Lauren Yamada joins us with more on a big eyesore that has residents demanding some answers. It's KITV4 exclusive. I'm a pilot. I overflew the area, and there's boats, cars, vans, engine blocks, loads of tires, all kinds of junk back there. Down the winding road through the trees, a different kind of scene has cropped up recently, triggering a slew of complaints over the unsightly new addition. It's not a farm, it's clearly a junkyard, and it's growing every day. I saw him bringing a load of tires in. It's been a mixed response from the city, first issuing a violation for derelict vehicles and litter in January, but then granting a permit for grading in February. The city says it's not sure and still checking, but it appears the mainland landowner leased the land to this man. I just moved in. I'm one guy. Who calls himself Santa, taking us behind the wall of junk and into his pot of ideas. This will act as a planter. This is a hay baler. This runs fine. It's just things got thrown into it. From stacked up boats that he says still run and will troll Lake Wilson for clams to the rusted antique car that will become part of a this tourist attraction. Say North Shore bust. Santa says it's all part of a 21st century farm. He says he's creating a high tech food factory using technology from several countries. They'll be up to 32 times more productive than the average farm system. He just needs people, he says, to show him some patience. It's really unfair to walk into the kitchen when the cook's in the middle of the meal and make a determination of what the meal's going to taste like. He moves from one lot to the next lot. He's been kicked off several lots. North Shore residents say Santa is no stranger. He once occupied another nearby spot. That owner ultimately filing a restraining order to get him off. Santa says it's all been a misunderstanding in his mission to slowly create the farm of his dreams. You can't see the composition because I'm imagining it and I haven't cooked it together yet. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. And Santa, whose real name is David Cromer, claims that workers on the property next to him illegally cut down the tall grass close to the road, exposing more of his stuff and belongings. He says that he'll move some of it away from the road within the next couple of weeks. And as expected, you could see horses and other animals in the next few months, he says. He says that he plans to have his high-tech farm slash tourist attraction up and running within a year.